My name is Hong Wen. Uh, I'm a senior program officer at the integrated delivery team at the Gates Foundation. If I describe my job uh, in a very broad sense, it's really apply some of the principles in health economics uh, into uh, health policy uh, developments and uh, improve the health system performance and uh, improve the uh, outcome of the population health. Foundation realized there is a huge uh, kind of demands uh, from country perspective in terms of uh, improve their healthcare system. Country want to learn from other country uh, to see how other country is doing and whether there is knowledge and the practice they can learn from uh, in order to improve their own performance. At the same time, uh, Foundation also realized that uh, there are so many uh, existing activity happens. It's not uh, uh, something started from scratch. Uh, there's uh, so many uh, mechanisms, uh, so many existing programs already uh, facilitate this uh, learning process. Uh, so what's the added value if a foundation decide to invest that? How can we avoid uh, some of the uh, uh, less successful experience and uh, strengthen the, the successful aspect? Uh, what's the innovation, especially, uh, if we're going to invest similar kind of uh, uh, area? So foundation want to understand all of this before they make a, a decision. When countries start to uh, uh, trying to improve their system performance, certainly they uh, learn from their own experience whether they have a successful or unsuccessful story. But uh, often they also looking upward to learn from uh, uh, what other people is doing, what's the experience that other people and other countries in other system. Uh, they have. So China did the same. So when China uh, start to uh, their uh, health system reform process, process, so they start to look in other countries' experience, like go to Britain, go to United States, go to Canada, Japan, uh, Germany, so many countries. So we're trying to learn and see how other countries' healthcare system are organized and, uh, and how those services are delivered and, uh, and then whether there's any uh, good experience that we can learn from it. Once you receive those knowledge, you, uh, the country has to really adapt to those knowledge uh, based on their specific environments. So the knowledge itself is definitely not sufficient. Then you have to think about how to adapt it in a country-specific situation. And eventually, country has to own it because unless you own this country, this knowledge, you are not able to actually put it into a practice. So so that the ownership of this knowledge is also very, very important. So, so this is a kind of a process and the learning, adaptation, and the ownership. Knowledge you can generate in many, many different places, uh, but eventually the knowledge are owned locally. So if you look at the, uh, the current healthcare system in China, uh, there's a lot of elements that are actually shared and learned from uh, many other countries, but adapted and, uh, and integrated in the healthcare system in China. And uh, uh, no, normally, if you ask China where this knowledge come from, they will say, it's, it's, it's from China. Uh, so <laughs> Because they feel they, those kind of knowledge is already owned by the country. Well, the ultimate goal is we can find uh, uh, this kind of uh, investment, a comparative health system investment, uh, can be a uh, good instrument uh, to improve the uh, uh, system performance uh, in the low middle income country, uh, and then drive to the uh, the better health outcomes.
but doing that, there's uh, many ways to do that. There's a mo multiple, a lot of investment uh, already in place. So how can we achieve that goal in a value for money approach, right? So we, how can we use best use our scarcity resources to maximize the impact uh, of our investment? So that's, I think this is uh, the goal we are trying to achieve.